Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So this morning, Toyota teases again the 2022 Tundra and its beautiful new TRD Pro interior. And man, are there some things to note. So starting off this teaser, they just boldly show these amazing new red seats. Some things to take notice of these red seats, that multi-cam from the front valence and the rear valence makes its way to the seats. So you can see that these seats are perforated with little holes in them. Either it's a super high quality camera or obviously we're getting AC seats. So both heated and cool AC seats, most likely for this TRD Pro Tundra. You can see the little bit of camo back behind the red. It looks really good. And then in the headrest, there's no TRD Pro or anything, but in the Tundra, it was always on the seat. So if you see there, it says TRD Pro embroidered into the seat. It looks good, it looks awesome. And the stitching, they did very, very nice. They went with white and red stitching. It looks very good, very classy for this seat. Now the only question I have about the seat is we were teased a reddish Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. I'm thinking it may be Inferno or Magma, um, but I don't know how that's gonna look with red seats. Now, my prediction is that these seats are going to be for the white and black colored Tundras. Now, if they do like magnetic gray or any other color that's not the special TRD Pro color, they may throw these red seats in there and then the special color may just have black seats because they have the special color. I'm not sure what Toyota is gonna do. I just don't know how good red on red is gonna look, but We'll see what they officially come out with. Moving down, guys, this is huge for Tundra because the TRD Pro never, ever, ever had this. It was literally just four-wheel drive, some suspension, other TRD parts to make it look good. <laughs> but now we have a guy pressing down crawl control button. You have a multi-terrain select button there. You got different drive modes and you have the tow haul button. You can see in this photo here too that Toyota posted, it has a multi-terrain select button highlighted and then that little rotary dial there is probably going to allow you to choose through different modes, uh, sand, Baja, Mogul, whatever it is, uh, water crossings maybe, not sure, snow, but that little rotary dial is most likely for the multi-terrain select and then I'm thinking that you also have tow haul mode there. So it'd be very, very cool if Toyota was able to have that tow haul mode, then now you're working that dial, right? And it is your integrated brake controller. That'd be cool, fanboying a little bit, but if you have all that together, because you have your drive modes up above that, you could probably pick different drive modes. You have the multi-terrain select, choose your different multi-terrains, and then you have the tow haul mode, set your gain control for electronic trailer brakes. Very cool if they integrate that into that system. As you see in this right here, you have different speeds of crawl control. So maybe if you press that crawl control button, move the dial a little bit, you could set your speed of your crawl control just like I can in my 4Runner and people can in their Tacomas as well with that button. Moving over to this screen, the video shows a snippet real quick of the gauge cluster. This gauge cluster is completely different from what we can see at least than that leaked photo a couple days ago of the Tundra interior. So we're obviously getting two crazy different Tundra interiors. It looks to be analog gauges like we already knew and then the center where it shows a crawl control is digital. The way the screen looks curving over the tack and the speedo looks very reminiscent to the Venza. So it looks very similar to the Venza. Not sure what other information the physical gauges are gonna have versus the actual digital one, but it's nice to know that we have a big screen in the gauge cluster of the Tundra for that premium effect. The last thing, guys, is wireless charging. Not really that big of a deal, but it is very nice to show that this console is big. So you have the gear selector, you have all that multi-terrain select stuff, all those off-road goodies, the tow haul, all in like this center console area, and then it pans over to the right, and then this guy is able to put his bigger phone there, and it still has room, so kind of like the current Tundra where it's just a massive console. It is huge. So we know this truck is gonna be a big truck, and that center console is definitely big. It is weird though that you are the driver, you're driving here, and then you have to set your phone on the opposite side away from you of where that gear selector is. I do understand it because, you know, Toyota doesn't want you to have your phone literally right here as you're driving, and it be charging and then that's just a recipe for lawsuits and disasters. So I do understand that. But for those of us who are off-roading and they use their phone for things and it's all the way over there, 
Not sure how visibility is going to be with the phone kind of down in the console behind your gear selector. Also in the photos too guys, getting back down to that console, you do see a little physical button for off-road. You have uh, two high right there, so probably two high, four high, four low for this truck. Uh, I doubt that it's gonna be an all-wheel drive truck. They're gonna have two-wheel drive versions, so definitely a full, legit four-wheel drive system. And I am curious though if this whole center console is just different than the other Tundra center console that we had leaked in the past. But I'm gonna do a deep dive into that one. I, I didn't make the video like I wanted to about that, but I was waiting for more information about the Tundra and now we have it. So now I can compare the TRD Pro interior that we have versus this leaked one, which looks like it's a lesser version of the Tundra, maybe SR or SR5. For, for those purposes. So I'll get that comparison video up once I'm done really deep diving and looking at these. But as of now, what do you guys think of this little tease again by Toyota of the interior? I think it looks really good. Uh, I cannot wait to see those red seats. I really, really hope it's not red on red or red on orange, whatever that tease color was. I'm not really sure how that would look. I'm really, really excited to see how the, the fit and finish of this interior is. Red seats is a premium. Red Seats is really a premium. It is a love-hate for some people. I do love it. I don't know how I'm going to love it if it is in the redder version of the Tundra. Either, like I said, it's Inferno, Magma, or Radiant Red. The, the photos look like Radiant Red, but it'd be really cool if the first year of Tundra, the first year of TRD Pro for the new generation was Inferno, just like it was back in 2015. But the interior is going to be a premium. You know it's going to have that huge, massive screen that Toyota kind of teased to us a little bit in the interior cabin shot. It's going to have the JBL speakers. It seems to have a big center screen in your gauge cluster now, wireless charging, and all, all of the goodies for off-road with crawl control, multi-terrain select, drive modes, and tow haul mode, all integrated into that little switch area. It's going to be very, very cool, and it's just going to show what I was talking about earlier of this thing being a potential Raptor competitor. I know Raptor and TRX, they are in their own worlds, but Toyota is showing us bit by bit how this truck is gonna stand up to them in hopefully a very big way and a uh, more cost-effective way. We shall see. So if you guys are new around here, definitely consider subscribing, returning subscribers as always. I appreciate your guys' support and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.